You get the feeling we've been here before? Yeah. I tear me up with Troy again. I swear I'm going to nick myself. Seriously? It took me a week to get the B.O. stench out of my shirt. He stinks. He reeks. It's not right. Here they are. All right. Let's get this roll marked off so we can get stuck into it, eh? Fuck. All right. So, how do non-violent crisis intervention techniques work? By engaging with the client before the situation gets out of hand. Now, Where's sometimes Linda? that's easier said than done. Where's Colette? But it's on us to, to keep our cool and maintain level heads. Now, if things do escalate, change. It's important that we can secure the distressed person without imposing any pain or injury. Hmm. Don't know why I haven't thought of that before. I don't know what we do. Key take out of this being that even if we do have to put our hands on a client, we're always calm and in control. You know what I'm saying, Nick? Hmm? Ah, oh, I think you're saying that dislocating a patient's shoulder is a less than desirable outcome? Hmm. And I think that you think that this is all a waste of your time. Relearning what I already know? Yeah, you could say it's a waste of my time. Hmm, management think otherwise. Maybe they're more concerned that getting sued is a less than desirable outcome. I'm not a fan of the system, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay. If you don't like it, change it. There's the door. <coughs> what do you what do you need to change? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Go on. Go on then, fight for it. Get your hands off me. Right. <coughs> Come on. Yep. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> See, it's a lot easier to piss a mine than it is to actually have a crack, isn't it? <laughs> Who's next? Troy, Pete, shirts off, hit the mats.